Hi everybody, my name is Kevin Bridge and I'm a yoga teacher and today I'm going to show you some tips on how to get into the headstand. So the headstand is a funny posture, it's either you can do it or you can't. And you find that a lot of people, when they struggle to go up into the full headstand, they use the wall for extra support. But I find that when you use the wall, and you consistently keep using the wall, it doesn't really build you the confidence to do the headstand without no aid or help of a wall. So, I'm going to go over some of the foundations first before you enter the posture. Now when you enter the headstand, right, a lot of people enter the headstand and they have their feet parted when they kneel. Now your feet should be together and your knees should be together as you kneel down. That's the first thing. The second thing, your measurement. You hold on to the opposite elbow with a the hand, then you interlace the fingers without moving the elbow. So what you find is that people got the foundation wrong in their arms. With their forearms, they, their arms are too wide and it makes it more challenging. But when you measure from the elbows, bring that palm to the mat and then interlace the finger, you've got more of like an equilateral triangle. Or you can get a yoga block and place the web of the thumb and the first finger at the side and the front of the block, okay? So that's the foundation part, preparation. So when you prepare, you keep the knees together, you point your toes, sit back on the heels, you hold on to the opposite elbow, you place the hands flat, and then you interlace the fingers without moving the elbows. The next thing is your shoulders. You roll your shoulders back. That's very important, so they in flop, and that's your foundation prepared, okay? Shoulders roll back, measurement of the elbows, insulation of the fingers. Now when you go into the first headstand, what you need to do is make sure that the back of the head, the back of the head goes into the, the fingers and the palms. So you make a cup, not too, not together like that. You make a cup with the hand and the top of the head goes to the mat center of the head, the crown goes into the mat, okay? So when you do this posture, the first thing you want to do, I like to have students mix. If you're learning the headstand in my class, I get you to come up to a point where you're comfortable. The first thing you do, when you bring the head in position, you curl your toes and you straighten your legs. Lifting your hips. And then from there, you push into the elbows and the forearms and the wrists to take the pressure off your head. And when you walk, you walk keeping the legs straight. You're walking your feet towards your head, keeping your legs straight. A lot of people make the mistake and they walk bending their knees. You need to keep the legs straight, okay? And this is the reason why. When you walk, and you keep your legs straight, then you want to get to a point where you can't move no more. Once you get to the point that you can't walk your feet no further no more, you're in the perfect position. The hips are beyond the shoulders. Yeah, and that's what you want. So try to get into that position first, I say, and hold it for five breaths to start. Then work on to build it to ten breaths. And then eventually maybe 15 breaths. You want to fill that position by walking forward, keeping the legs straight. Once you fill that position, you're going to know when to come up. People think it's a lot of core strength to come up, but it's not. It's finding that point like a biting point if you're driving a car. Okay? So bring the hands in that position. Point the feet first, sit back on the heels, hold the opposite elbow palms down first, or you can just straight away interlace the fingers, making a cup, curl the toes, don't move the elbows, roll the shoulders back, top of the head into the mat, inhale up, legs straight, walk, 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 and then once you can't walk no further, push into your forearms, and then lift your hips. So it's more pushing, the movement 
from your hips. Keep your legs together and then you can come up. And one inhalation. And then to come out, you hinge from the hips. Keep your legs active, push your back towards the front of your mat so that you can round and come down and then rest in child pose. And there you have it. Now, if you have injuries in the spine, neck, you can't do this posture. If you have injuries in your hip, you cannot do this posture. If you have blood pressure issues, and it's low blood pressure especially, you cannot do this posture. So if you're unsure, always consult with a doctor. Do not rush to come into this posture. So I hope these tips were handy. Click on the like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll be uploading more videos and tips on headstands and all different kinds of asanas. So remember, stay up, never down. I'm out, people. Stay blessed. Namaste.